So this is a bit of a spontaneous video. I'm out in my car filming because I don't want to bug my flatmate. Um, <laughs> my other flatmate's visiting his girlfriend so I, I won't be bugging him because he's far away. Um, really stormy day today. A um, bit of a break in the weather right now. So I thought I'd pop out into the car and um, do a little talk. Yeah, what I want to talk about is artificial intelligence and, and uh, machine learning and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not here to talk about the technicalities of it. I'm certainly not going to talk about the ethics of it. People are, are having that debate. I mean, the fact of the matter is AI is here. It's here to stay. It's just going to get better. It's going to get better than humans, I would predict. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your position, I would... Um, uh, obviously there are downsides and upsides to AI, there's always going to be downsides and upsides to any new technology, but I think AI is going to be a, a really extreme case of, of really extreme upsides and downsides. But I'm not here to talk about that, um, mainly because I don't want a bunch of, you know, sanctimonious, disingenuous, condescending tech bros coming on here and telling me how stupid I am, so I'm not going to talk about that. Okay, AI is here, it's, it's here to stay, blah blah blah. I'm going to talk about it more on a personal level as a musician, particularly a bedroom musician. It might be might have been a bit different if I was a live performing musician. I haven't performed as a live musician in in uh, what nine years. A because for the last six or seven years I have been working on the weekend. Specifically, I've been working late on a Friday and Saturday night, and that's the two nights you kind of want to have free to uh, if you want to play in a in a band um, but I'm getting us ahead of myself here why am I talking about playing in a live band I'm a, well obviously I'm, I'm a bedroom musician I've been one for since 2015 I haven't played live in nine years like I said um, and um, basically I'm kind of at the point where I think being a bedroom bedroom musician is dead uh, because with the technology that the um, brought about by the machine learning and also uh, what, what people generally call AI, uh, is that, you know, any old person can really do what I'm doing better than I'm doing it in a much shorter amount of time. I've been looking at some of the AI music, and I, I know a lot of musicians and artists are saying, oh, you know, blah, 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 um, AI will never be as good as human art, because I don't know, whatever. Well, the music I was listening to was pretty, was better than what I do. <laughs> I found a guy with a channel who was making AI music. Uh, he was actually nice to me. One of the few nice AI bros. Um, there are nice ones out there, so if you you know if you're going to talk to an AI bro, make sure it's one of the nice ones because you don't want to talk to one of the you know sanctimonious ones. Oh boy. Um, but um, he was basically pumping out two songs a day, and I had hundreds of songs a year. You know, it takes me about a month to. To, to, to make a song and he was doing it in two days and I sort of said and I sort of made a comment I was like oh wow I really it really is over for me isn't it I'm uh, you know I uh, um, commenting on what he was doing and saying man you can do this amount in, in that short amount of time it takes me a month I might as well just give up and he said oh and he was nice to me he was a nice like I said he was one of the nice AI bros um, uh, one of the few nice ones, uh, and he said to me, "Oh, don't don't give up hope. There's always going to be a place for human musicians. I mean, for example, I can never. Um, this is what he's. This is him talking now. I'm talking as as him. He said, for example, um, I can't play my music live because um, it's all um, 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 algorithm generated. Uh, it's all prompted. So uh, uh, I can. Never, I'm not going to be able to play this as a live musician. You can still that. You can still play your songs live. He said to me, and that's why I sort of thought, well, the yeah, problem with that is that I work on the weekend and nobody really goes to live shows anymore. He was being nice, and I, I get that, so thank you for trying to be nice, but the reality of the situation is I work on the weekends, specifically Friday, Saturday night. I haven't played in nine years, so I don't know how well it'll go. There's so much organising that I have to get with other musicians who wouldn't really want to play my stuff. Um, musicians generally want to play, if you've got a band together, they generally want to get make up new songs together as a band or they want to play well-known covers they want they don't want to play a song that some small musician is you know um 
and also uh, not many people go to live shows anymore from what I understand unless it's a huge international act like I don't know um, I can't think of an example but big acts still get well, Taylor Swift for example uh, Earl Grey tea tea Earl Grey hot huh. that's uh, that's AI isn't it the, um, Captain Picard would get a um, machine to make his Earl Grey tea for him wonder what it tasted like well, it's all made. It's just a TV show, but we're heading in that direction. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not going to talk it. Yeah, that's why I'm not here to debate the ethics of it because it's it's for it's kind of. I think we're past that point. It's too late. AI's here, um, so that's why I'm I'm sort of wondering if I find need to find another field of passion, if you know what I mean, um, because. What's the point of making music if anybody can make music, you know? And I know what people are going to say, well, make music for yourself. Why don't you just make music for yourself? There's all you, people keep, I keep seeing that comment. Why just carry on making music, but make it for yourself. Don't make it for other people. What's the point of that, you know? <laughs> What's the point of making music for yourself? Um, because, okay, back in, backtracking here, backtracking here. One of the deepest desires I believe that most human beings have is to have a purpose is to uh, be of value to other people it is to add value to other people's lives is to be a contributing member of a society or even on a smaller scale a, a, a small a, a, a mini society to be you, you know you know what I mean it's to be um, worth something to others it's not uh, I mean I would say about 30% of me creating music is to make it for myself. About 60% is to make it is to is so that other people will be able to enjoy it because that gives me a sense of purpose. When I'm making when I'm making other people enjoy something, that gives me a sense of purpose. Uh, so it's 30% for myself, 60% because I'm to making it for others because I um, and also maybe 10% in the hope I in the hope that one day I would make money out of it, but I can abandon that 10% now because I'm never going to make money out of music. But, so, I, so twice, I, there is twice as much motivation f to make it for other people than what there is for myself because it adds value, it adds purpose, it adds, it, it means I, I contribute to society in some way, even if it's only artistically. So, if I'm just going to do it for myself, I might as well do something else for myself, like gardening, you know, at least I'm making my own food, or, yeah, or, uh, uh, the problem is I think that AI is going to replace a lot of, a lot of, not just jobs, but a lot of, it's going to play, replace a lot of jobs, um, but it's also going to replace people's sense of purpose, because people don't just work to be a wage slave, they also which, which it sucks that we, you know, but the other ha the other half of it is that we are also searching for a sense of purpose. And if anybody can create music better than I can in about a couple of hours, when it takes me a month, then I'm not. I have no purpose. I'm not adding anything to society. I'm not. I'm not giving people anything. So it's, what's the point? So I might as well f put my energies and focus onto something else and um i honestly think that i mean everything's going to be replaced eventually well unless you know unless you know um environmental degradation causes society to totally collapse which which is quite inevitable uh, not inevitable but a, a high possibility you know so that's and then then this this ai um Future where humans have no purpose might not might not even get to that point because everybody's um because of famine and stuff like that. Uh, but that's a different topic. I don't want to talk about that because that's another depressing thing. That's you know environmental degradation and how it's, I don't want to talk about. I'll, maybe I'll talk about that in a different video. But it, that, that's a whole other. It's that's a, I won't talk about that. Now I can't, now I've lost track of thought. But I was talking about. Uh, What was I talking about? Um, how? Gee, it's hot in here. It's freezing outside, but the, 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 the sun is heating up the car, and it's that's why I got a window open because it's just. I'm starting to smell too. I haven't put any deodorant on. Uh, 
I will before I go to the gym. But yeah, I was. I think. I think the jobs that are probably going to go last will be the more physical labour jobs. And um, I think that's something I could probably. Oh. I think there is something in that department I could probably switch to. I've tried getting into concreting twice. Um, I think it's going to be a while before concreting gets replaced by automation. But I've tried it twice and both times I was relentlessly bullied by pseudo-masculine New Zealand blokes. You know, you know when you're the, 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 when every, when you're the, end of every joke and uh, they make fun of everything that you do and and you can't do it back to them because they get mad at you know um, bullying and, and you know I don't, that's why I have, I'm not going to try concreting a third time because obviously there's a big bullying culture in concreting but I, I, I thought you know when I was a kid one of the things I wanted to thought I could try it was to be a farmer of some kind or maybe in, 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 in horticulture so maybe I could get into you know uh crop farming or I could go work some on a, on a nursery I get it again I did work on a nursery a few years ago a uh, plant nursery not with kids um, you know because you're working outside it's physical work uh, so um, and I think it'll be a while before those sort of jobs will get replaced I mean I don't have any qualifications I mean I'm, I, uh, I, I, I I'm not going to go back and study to get a qualification it's too late it's too much money so I something pertaining to growing plants whether it's a crop farmer or whether it's uh, on an orchard or a nursery I think I think that could give me that could bring back my sense of purpose because you're growing stuff you're outside it's it's physical work you know you you you're achieving something um, I'm contributing to society um, it'll be a while before automation takes all that, those sort of jobs over, or at least it'll take longer than other other jobs. Um, I've, I see a lot of people talking about this sort of uh, idealistic utopia in the future where we all have a, um, a benefit from the government because there's no jobs to go around anymore. I don't believe in that. From what I know about those in power they would never allow the small man, the small people to... Well, that's another topic. I'm not going to talk about that either. I'm just talking about... I'll go back to my original topic. I think I'm going to have to find a new sense, a new direction in life, a new, something new that will give me a sense of purpose, a sense of direction, a, a sense that I'm contributing to society, a sense that I'm adding value to other people's lives. And that's not going to happen in music anymore because... With AI, anybody can do that. So I'm going to try. I'm, it's time for me to find something else. Maybe farming, maybe nursery work. Maybe I'm probably clapping. You probably can't hear me. Maybe farming or, or nursery work or or on an orchard. Something, something, something outside and with plants. I think could add value to my life again. I mean, I do work in the garden centre right now, but it's not quite the same thing because that's really retail, isn't it? Well, I don't. I work in the gardening section of a hardware store. Uh, I think that about wraps it up. So uh, you might have noticed back in 2022, I released my last EP and I've just put out a new one. Actually, no, I haven't. I haven't put out a new one. I uploaded one a month ago and District Kid and the Harry, what is it? The Harry Fox Agency still haven't clearanced my cover songs, my Leonard Cohen cover songs. It's been a month. So, but anyway, it's on YouTube. Um, so you can listen to it there, but... Um, so I, but but when but that I so I released my last one in May 2022, and then I released this one in May 2024. So it's two years between the two albums, and you might be wondering why is that? And it's because I was having these thoughts two years ago, and I thought that by now, I actually thought that AI would be more advanced by now than what it is. So, <laughs> so uh, it's actually advancing slower than I thought. Everybody's freaking out about how quickly it's advancing. I thought it was gonna it was gonna be even quicker than this. I thought by now everybody would have little things in their ears and they'd be like, "Make me a song that sounds like a cross between a uh, pink and a monomath, and the topic is to be about Sam Neil going on a d date with a Dilophosaurus or something." And then and then they have their song there and it'll be made, you know. And you, you, well, people, you, that, that people, I thought that people would have a little, would be prompting their own song 
times by now, but uh, maybe that's another two years down the track. And then late last year, I realized how much I, I liked Leonard Cohen. I thought it'd be cool to do a folk metal tribute album to him. So I'll do that. And I think it's going to be my last one. I think that'll be my last one. And frickin' it's still not even up. It's still not even up, except on YouTube. It's not on Spotify. or I can't put it on Bandcamp because... But anyway, I'm going off topic again. But you might have noticed that I, I took a break from music for two years, which I shouldn't have. I should have kept going hard until now. Uh, but that's the reason why, because I thought AI was going to take over by now. But uh, it's moving slower than I thought it was going to. But I think that's everything I said. So if you don't ever see... I'm, I'm still going to carry on making hiking videos and stuff. Even though AI will probably get to the point where you can just say, make me a hiking video of me walking through the Pudiora Forest and uh, in autumn um, and, uh, you know, and, and, and make me swim in a river uh, and when it's really cold. But I'll still carry on making... Uh, until that happens, I will carry on making videos. But I think... I think... Unless I get a live band together, which seems quite unlikely, but you never know, I might that might still happen. I might get a live band together, I think... Well, being a bedroom musician, at least, that's over. Because it's gotten to the point where anybody can do that. So, why bother? Well, that's the end of the video. I, sorry to be depressing. I'm going to talk about climate change next week and how we're all screwed. And No, I'm not. I'm just... <laughs> I haven't I haven't had a very good year. I've uh, been rear-ended and the guy did a runner. I got COVID for the first time. Uh, my cat needs an operation for skin cancer. My dad split his leg open and, and cut a whole bunch of tendons and I couldn't help him because of all the stuff that... I couldn't come over and help mum and dad out with housework because of all the stuff that was going on for me. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I hurt my foot and I was on crutches for a couple of weeks. Uh, sure there's something else. What else happened? Oh yeah, some guys... Uh, you've probably... Those of you who are... Um, uh, some guys came... Oh, here's, here's another thing that happened this year, this is why this year's been so crap so far, um, our landlord hired some guys to do some trimming and pruning, and they absolutely annihilated everything. Even my native grasses, they weed whacked that, and my and my veggies, except for my spinach. That's Everything else was absolutely annihilated. All the trees, look at the trees, look what the trees look like now. Look over there. See, that was that, that tree was like that tree on the neighbor's place before that, and, that, and that's what they're all like now. And It's just, and see this? There's all these weeds growing there. Um, some of my um, native um, rock lilies of Bangaringa have grown back, but I had six in there originally. But the place, it's absolutely, it's just covered in weeds now. It's covered in weeds now. I mean, I was doing the trimming anyway. I was trimming the trees to like three times, three or four times a year anyway, and, and keeping it all nice and tidy. And now it's just, the place is a mess of weeds. What am I supposed to do with, with that? Why would they do that? I, honestly, I think, I don't think this is what the, um, the owner of this property wanted. I think those guys went overboard, and uh, when we see our property manager next, we're going to be like, is this what the owner wanted? And I think she's going to be like, oh my gosh, they were not meant to do that. They absolutely annihilated everything, and now, like even the ground covers, because there was a whole lot of ground covers over there where I pointed before, and they, they weed whacked all the ground covers, and now there's all these grass and, and weeds and stuff coming up. Oh, but it, it was perfectly fine before. Why, would, why? Why? Oh man, this year's been bad. I mean, it's been worse for others. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, you look at some countries where... It's, well, I'm not going to talk about that either, but some people are in much worse circumstances than I am. Um, not that that makes me feel better. That actually makes me feel worse that people are going through those things. But I think I'll end the video now because I'm making myself very depressed. But I hope you, <laughs> I hope you have a good rest of your year.